This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With Diana Williams, Shade Berenois, and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. Birds of a feather flock together on Manhattan's Upper West Side for Central Park's annual falconry extravaganza. All types of birds of prey, including falcons, hawks, and eagles, got to soar through the sky above the East Meadow during the event. And with that, let's fly out of another edition of the Eyewitness Newsreel. When we come back, Seven's on call with a look at how the environment affects children's health. And Sam is going to come back. Yeah, and I'm Lee Goldberg. I'll tell you how Central Park is going to the dogs in a good way. <laughs> New York City is a city of dog lovers, and a lot of owners and their pets can be found in Central Park, especially in the morning. But it hasn't always been this way, certainly not without the efforts of one dog owner who cared. Lee Goldberg has more in our continuing series, Be Part of Your Park. This pooch is just one of over 2,000 dogs that comes to Central Park every day to play. And the best time is bright and early in the morning. Treats! <laughs> I tell you, it's amazing scene in Central Park before 9 a.m. every morning. Lots of dogs and a virtual canine carnival, and they're just mixing it up, and their owners are here, and we're all having a great time. That's because before 9, dogs can run in the park leash-free. It's something that is sort of like the unknown miracle of Central Park. Like others, Bob Elson says this unique gathering has changed his life opening up a whole new circle of friends that meets every morning. The dogs make pooch pals, too. My dog, William, is someplace running around here playing with his friends, and he has absolute friends. They greet each other, they play, they have a wonderful social life. But Susan Buckley says the park wasn't always so dog-friendly. She says the Central Park Conservancy, which maintains the park, would close fields to dogs with no reason why. So she took steps to change that starting the group Central Park Paws seven years ago. Our object is um, to have a dialogue with the Conservancy, between the Conservancy and the dog owners. Now the Conservancy partners with Paws, communicating better about the need to balance park maintenance with the dog's demands. We talk to the dog owners, we let them know what our plans are, we put signs up, we let them know how long the area is going to be fenced off. To celebrate its success, Central Park Paws will hold its annual dog fair this Saturday from 11 to 4, south of 72nd Street Drive in the middle of the park. Fun and festivities for the dogs. Oh, and owners, you're invited too. Lee Goldberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. They're so cute. For more information on how you can become part of your park, plus details on the park's annual country fair for dogs and their owners, that's being held this Saturday. And just log on to 7online.com. You'll get everything that you need. You know, just for that, I'm going to let you take my dog <laughs> on Saturday. You can no, take thanks. my <laughs> <laughs> You've got it. She knows my dog. <laughs> it's fine, but they wake you up at the same time every yeah, morning, I even know, if you don't I have know. Know. It's That's a lot rough. to think about.